Hey, what is up YouTube? All right, it's time for a little bit of an update in what I'm up to at the moment uh, with my bodybuilding progress. Uh, so these pictures are taken at uh, towards the end of February, about two months into the year now, and uh, about two months into my uh, bulking phase. And in these photos, I'm 94 kilos, or the heaviest I got to was about 95 kilos, but between 94 and 93 was where I was sitting during these photos. But uh, So that's up from 88 from where I started at the start of the year. So uh, in a good position because I'm still pretty lean. I'm uh, not as lean as I like to be, but um, still lean enough. And uh, I'm not not real happy with uh, that shot in particular with the the, the stomach. is is a little bit out there, but um, that just comes with uh, with uh, putting on the size, I guess. Trying to eat um, in a calorie surplus all the time. I'm basically never never hungry at the moment. I'm always uh, pretty satisfied with my meals, and my energy levels are really good, which is great for training. And uh, that's how I gauge it, really. I, I uh, don't try and force feed or anything like that. I uh, try and keep things nice and clean, and uh, just go by how much energy I have in the gym. So if I've had a really hard workout. I oh, know I've pushed hard and I've still got a little bit in the tank. That's kind of where I need to be. So just going over my physique at, at the moment, um, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, a few weak areas are starting to come up. It's hard to tell when uh, when the body fat's a little bit higher, especially with the back. Can't see um, too much of what's going on. But uh, legs, I think, are coming up a little bit. Uh, and, and the back's getting a little bit thicker, but uh, you never really know until you start dieting. So just got to keep working away and uh, try and uh, stick to the plan as best I can. I still um, have a few, uh, not, not injuries, but just uh, imbalances. So in this shot here, you can see that my left delt is a little bit higher. So that, that's the problem delt for me. Uh, so basically the trap's just pulling in, pulling the shoulder across. Uh, and, and a few of the muscles in that area are very tight so the chest is tight and uh, the, the lat is tight so it makes it hard uh, to train around but uh, I've uh, adapted uh, my training to, to, this, uh, to this problem so that, that problem starts from my right foot actually so my right foot doesn't hit the, hit the ground properly it's a little bit uh, wonky and that goes up to my right hip so i have problems with my right hip and, and my left shoulder so it sort of crosses over but uh, it's not as bad as it used to be i'm not in any uh, pain at the moment but um which which is where i want to be but i keep working on these uh, areas and making sure that uh, both sides are working equally because i don't want to be uh unbalanced i've uh developed a pretty symmetrical physique but uh, it is a little bit unbalanced uh, if you look very closely uh, pretty much I only I can tell when I'm training as well so uh, that that's what I'm working on I'm trying to get more uh, mobility through the hips and uh, trying to get um, just overall uh, overall stronger so trying to get stronger in the squats the deadlift and the pressing so here is some footage of me uh, at the, where I'm at uh, currently with strength. So this is the squat, and this is about 100, 140 kilos. Um, so this is a good weight for me at the moment, getting about five or six reps. And as you can see, I'm not I'm not completely stable. I'm still uh, pretty good form by by most people's standards, but um, uh, not in complete control of the weight, but uh, good enough. So. Strength at the moment uh, with with the squat that that's an improvement on uh, where I've been in the past. So things are looking pretty good there. The form's looking good. The pelvis is not uh, moving too much, but uh, still want to be able to get a little bit stronger out of the bottom of that uh, of that movement. Then uh, onto the pressing. So a bit of incline press. This is um, about 35 kilos or 34 kilos. So. Um, not the heaviest weight that I get up to. I get up to about 42 for about five or six reps with this form. So, but uh, as you can see, nice and stable. Uh, no pain in the shoulder anymore. Um, so uh, things are going pretty good. 
with the pressing um, and uh, I'm using a lot more decline at the moment so it's decline can be a bit of a pain in the ass with the setup but um, I find it a lot more effective than the flat press and uh, I've pretty much eliminated most most flat pressing now as it does uh, hurt my shoulders a little bit so then on uh, on to the deadlift uh, so this is about uh, 180 kilos for about five or six reps and um, you'll see that I'm in good control with this uh, it's not a huge jump up on uh, on strength for me in the deadlift but uh, it's still pretty good so pelvis is fairly stable for this kind of weight um, so uh, it's an improvement on where I where I've been so pretty happy with it at the moment so then uh, this is probably the, the strongest I've been 200 kilos for three reps at the end of a long long sort of workout so I'd already been training about an hour and 15 before I started my deadlifts which is normally what I do but uh, three reps for 200 I, I want to get that up to five or six but uh, we'll just have to keep working at it but uh, that pretty much wraps up where I'm at at the moment with my progress and uh, hopefully uh, you guys keep following along and I'll try and upload some more content uh, in the future. But until then, I'll catch you guys again soon.